Hey guys, what's up? This is Electric Type, and I'm back with part 19 of my Pokemon Platinum playthrough. Um, it's been a long time. I haven't updated this in a while. Um, I recorded this episode like a month ago, and now I'm narrating it, and I have no idea what's going on. Um, it looks like I, oh, this is the bike shop owner. I rescued him from Team Galactic, and now I've got a sweet-ass pedal bike that he gave to me for free. So I guess that means it's good to uh, help people, because they might give you stuff. At least in the Pokemon world, that's true. That's real. That's true in the real world. I never got a free pedal bike, though, but I guess I never saved anybody from evil guys in weird costumes that were planning on taking over the world, so... I guess things even out. Um, I'm going to stop here at the Pokemon Center and pick up some supplies. And then I think we're going to journey down Cycling Road and battle some people. Um, I guess now's a good time. If anybody is watching this and you're actually enjoying it, please let me know. Um, leave me some comments. And hopefully that will inspire me to get the next parts out sooner because I feel like nobody really watches this and I'm just doing it for fun but if nobody's waiting on it then I don't usually it gets pushed aside and I do other things like write songs and stuff but if if you want to see it let me know and I'll make sure I get parts out a little faster next time I'm gonna shoot for like one a week if if I get some comments um Anyways, we tried to leave town, and this stupid bitch wouldn't let me go because I didn't have an explorer kit and to go to the underground, which I am never going to do. So we had to go back up to the house and get that off the guy so that she would let us leave town. Now, um, here's Don's father. Uh, he says that I've seen 42 types of Pokemon, and he's going to give me an experience share which will come in pretty handy whenever I start having to train some lower level Pokemon. Like perhaps when that egg hatches. Alright, this girl, this is like a fail on my part. I need to use the bicycle before this girl let me go. So I'm going to set it to my Y key. And I accidentally walk down. And I have no idea which key on my computer is the Y key, so I keep... I keep hitting Y, but that doesn't work. So I guess it's like Z or something. All right, there's my bike. All right, let's get down this road. And here is our first cycler. Cyclist Axel. I guess that's a good name for a cyclist. He has a Pikachu, though. But my electric Pokemon is much more powerful. Ghost versus Rat. Um... Bean is going to kick this Pikachu's ass. I'm going to try an uproar. That does a decent amount. Pikachu's confused, and it knocks itself out. All right. I'm going to keep just journeying down here. I'm not going to battle everybody. I might go back off screen, battle some people to get some ex experience. But all of these battles pretty much suck. They all have, like weird common Pokemon, some Pikachus, a Starly, I'm going to knock that shit out in one hit, now they're going to send out a Staravia, Staravia, Thundershock that shit, and that's a dead Staravia, Bean grows level 22, and wants to learn Shockwave, Shockwave, so, I'm checking out. I'm checking out to see how what Shockwave is like. See if that's better than uh, Thunder Shock or whatever, whatever it is that Bean has right now. And I think I decide Shockwave is better than Thunder Shock. So we're gonna switch to that for a little bit until until we find like a TM for Thunder or something. Actually, I know where that is. I think we need to go back to the Windworks once we get Surf and find that TM. Here's another Pikachu. I'm going to shockwave just to try out my new move. 
That's usually what I do. It's not going to hurt the Pikachu very much. Pikachu is going to double team so that it's extra annoying. It's evasiveness rises. I'm going to confuse it. Hopefully it'll knock itself out and then I won't have to do it. And it's going to Thunder Wave Bean. Freaking paralyze him. That's annoying. I always thought that electric type Pokemon shouldn't be able to get paralyzed. It would seem like it would make sense. At least not from like electric moves. You know, like they could still be paralyzed from body slam or something like that. But I don't see how like a Rotom could be paralyzed by an electric attack from a Pikachu. It doesn't doesn't really make sense. See now Bean's paralyzed, it can't move. This is getting annoying. Pikachu snaps out of confusion. Double teams again. This is getting real annoying. Bean's paralyzed again. Alright. I think it's time to switch him out. Oh, no. Just a paralyzed heal. False alarm. We're going to heal that paralyzed. Pikachu's double teamed like 80 times. So pretty much nothing's going to hit it now. Except for this shockwave. Sometimes I get lucky, I guess. But it's probably not going to do... Oh, it does do enough. We knocked this Pikachu out. Pikachu fainted. Bean gained 369. 69 uh, experience. And we've defeated this cyclist. Alright, let's continue down here. Oh, we're at the end of cycling road already. Alright, let's get out of here. Get off that bike. Um... Okay, we got cut. Pepsi, use cut on this bush. We're going to journey up here. And we're going to go into a hidden cave. Oh, here's an item. Let's see what we got. PP up. So I found some Viagra for my Pokemon. Um, continue up here. Wild. Ponita. Um... We should be able to shockwave this thing. Uh, over half. One more shockwave and dead Ponita. Okay, let's journey up here. Hopefully we don't see too many wild Pokemon. Hide in here. I gotta get this item. Hold on, it's an item. It's a super repel. I might use that, but not right now. This hiker hopefully doesn't see me, but never mind. Alright, so we now we have to battle a hiker. I just want to explore this cave. Um, there's a Pokemon that I want to catch. Okay, he has an Onix. That's not a good matchup. We're going to switch Bean right out of there. Send in Pepsi. Pepsi gets hit in the head with a rock. No problem. Now, this freaking Onix is going to rage. But we're going to kill it with a Bubble Beam. So, that was easy. Some easy experience. Another Onix. Alright, Pepsi, you can handle it. Bubble Beam, kill that Onyx. Dead Onyx laying everywhere. And Pepsi grows to level 21, so now Pepsi is old enough to drink. But we're still not going to let him evolve because Pepsi is just way too cute to evolve. Okay, let's see. Where is this cave at? It's hidden under... Oh, crap. A wild Geodude. I don't want... I'm not running. I'm running from that. I don't even want to fight that thing. Okay, we're going to switch. There's going to be a lot of like rocks and stuff, so we're going to switch Bidoof into the front. And here's the secret entrance to the cave. Um, we're just going to go down in here, and this is the Wayward Cave. And you have to use your bike to get up these stupid things. Alright, make sure I'm in the right gear. And I'm not doing this stupid puzzle because it's real annoying. Um, I just want to catch a Pokemon, but the Pokemon I want to catch is not an Onix. So we're going to water gun that bitch. Knock that thing. It doesn't even knock it out. Holy crap. All right, guys. Before next episode, I'm going to have to do some training off screen. Because this freaking Bidoof is getting weak. I mean, it's the most awesome Pokemon there is, but if he's a low level, it's not going to work out. All right, here it is. 
Oh, it's a wild gibble. It's awesome. Look at it. It looks like it has freaking jets on the side of its head or something. We're going to try to catch it and add it as the final member to my team. Except for that egg. I don't know if I'm going to keep that egg or not. Um, leave me comments and let me know if you want me to keep the egg. I'm pretty sure it's a togepi. We can raise that thing into the flying togetic. Togetic, and that can use fly. That will actually be pretty helpful. Um, leave me comments. I might use that togepi in my team. And leave me some comments and let me know what I should name it. Okay. Back to the battle at hand. Bidoof is doing pretty good. Getting uh, some decent damage on this gibble. I know he could probably knock it out, but we're trying to keep keep it alive so we can catch it. Gibble is down to just a little bit of red health here. So we're going to use a super potion on Bidoof so he doesn't get knocked out. And then I think we're going to start chucking some Pokeballs at this gibble. 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 Gibble, gibble. Gibble uses the Dragon Rage, and that takes Bidoof right back down, so the Super Potion was a waste. Okay, all I have is Pokeballs, so this is going to be real annoying, probably. Alright, that didn't work at all. Pokemon broke free. Gibble! Okay, now it freaking uses Sandstorm, so it's extra annoying to catch. Uh, gibble, gibble, gibble! Badoof! Badoof! Throwing a Pokeball! Pokeball, go! One shake, and the Gibble breaks right back out. Gibble! Gibble, Gibble! Okay, take down that mist. Okay, Sandstorm rages. <sighs> Trying a third Pokeball. Third time's a charm. Let's throw this third Pokeball at it. Oh, God. This is getting annoying. I should have sped this up faster. Uh, two shakes. Three shakes. And, oh, God. Gibble. It was close, too. Uh, the wild Gibble used Sand Attack. That doesn't matter because we're not. We're just throwing Pokeballs. We're not using any attacks. Uh, buffeted by the sandstorm. Freaking Bidoof is going to die. Want another Pokeball? I think this is a fourth one. One shake. And we only got one shake on that. Uh, it appeared to be caught. I don't even know. It's freaking wild gibble. This is, this is intense. Now Bidoof is dead. No! Bidoof! You fainted. Oh no, who am I going to send out now? Yeah, I'm going to use my next Pokemon. It's going to be... Oh no, who do I use? Oh. Oh. No. Oh. Alright, Bean. You can hang in there. We need to catch this thing. Throw another Pokeball. Pokeball, go! Gibble barely has any health. I don't even know how it's still alive. Awesome. Gibble was caught. Gibble's data was added to the Pokedex. Alright, let's check it out. It's attacks using... It attacks using its huge mouth while it attacks while its attacks are powerful. It hurts itself sometimes too. I'm like retarded at reading sometimes. Most of the time actually. Alright, Gibble's nickname. What shall I name my Gibble? It's new Gibble. Gibble Gibble Gibble. Okay guys, I have the perfect nickname for this Gibble gonna be awesome I've named I don't know if I show you oh no alright I'm just gonna save 
next time we're going to train up this wild gibble. It's not wild anymore because I caught it. I like to call everything wild. There's my new gibble. I named him Dale. Dale Gibble. See you guys next time.